everyone so for still now for this sum we have found out what is eigen value and what is eigen vector for 8 okay so now we will find the eigen vector for the corresponding eigen value 2 see if we have three different eigen values it is very simple how we found the eigen vector for 8 in the similar fashion we have to find the eigen vector for other two numbers also but if we have two same numbers there is a catch let's see how to solve that one so now it will be case 2 so what is case 2 we will substitute lambda will be equal to 2 and this is the generalized Hagen vector okay so if we second case if we substitute lambda is equal to 2 what we'll get is 6 minus 2 is 4 3 minus 2 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 and this is minus 2 minus 2 this will be 2 2 minus 1 and minus 1 and this one is x1 x2 x3 that is equal to 0 see if we if you want to write the equation with the help of this so what will be the equation and tell the 4 x1 minus 2 x2 plus 2 x3 so this is 4 x1 minus 2 x2 plus 2 x3 is equal to 0 for the similarly for the second one minus 2 x1 plus 1 x2 minus 1 x3 will be equal to 0 similarly for the third one that is 2x1 minus 1x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. See, if you have two same eigen vectors, what are the problem we face is we got three equations. See, if you clearly look at this three equation, all the three equations are same. See, 2x1 minus 1x2 plus x3. If we take this equation to that side, it will be minus 2x1 plus 1x2 minus x3. So both the equations are same. And if you see equation 1 and 3, if you divide the equation 1 by 2, so this will be 4. So it will be 2x1 minus x2 plus x3. So if you have two eigen values, make sure that all the three equations will be same. So we can't use the previous method to solve the eigen vector so what we have to do you just take one of the simple equations so what we'll do we'll take this equation because all the three equations are same so we can write it as 2x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0 so make sure all the positive terms are in one side we'll take the negative term to the another side so if we take x2 to the that side it will become plus x2 that will be equal to 2x1 plus x3 okay so in this case we can assume any one of the values as 0 then only we can find the eigen vector so to make it simpler make this x1 as 0 so let us assume let us assume x1 is equal to 0 okay if f x1 is equal to 0 what will be this equation x2 will be equal to x3 okay then if x2 is equal to x3 then we can again assume x2 is equal to 1 we can assume x2 is equal to 1 so that also implies x3 is also equal to 1 so we got the eigen vector that is for the second one x2 that will be what is x1 x1 is 0 x2 is 1 x3 is 1 so this is the so this is the second eigen vector okay if we have three eigen values there should be three eigen vectors so there are two twos and the all equations are same but it will be not having the same eigen vectors so we have to find out 
another eigen vector how to find the another eigen vector is so we have to take one equation from this and another equation from the eigen vector so how we can write for finding the third eigen vector for finding third eigen vector we can use this equation because all the three are same so we can write it as 2 x1 minus 1 x2 plus x3 equal to 0 and another equation will be this eigen vector that is 0 1 1 1 so how we can write this as 0 x1 plus 1 x2 plus 1 x3 is equal to 0 and we have to solve in the same fashion so we have to start from this so this is minus 1 1 1 1 2 0 again we have to end with minus 1 and 1 so how we can write this is we can write it as x1 x2 x3 we have to start from the coefficient of x2 minus 1 1 so this will be minus 1 1 and the coefficient of x3 is 1 1 and for this one is 2 0 and it has to end with the same minus 1 let's check once again minus 1 1 1 1 2 0 and minus 1 okay so now we have to solve in the same process that is x1 minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1 1 so minus of 1 into 1 is 1 and next will be that is equal to x2 so x2 we can write 1 into 0 that is 0 minus 2 into 1 is 2 and the third one is x3 so we will do we'll take this four element 2 into 1 that is 2 minus of 1 into 0 that will be 0 so this will be x1 by Minus two. That is equal to x two by minus two. That is equal to x three by two. So we have the denominator as two. So all are multiples of two, or we can tell it as multiples of minus two. So we can either divide the this three by two or minus two. So let's divide it by minus two. So we'll have x one by minus two. We're dividing the denominator by minus two, so minus two by minus two will be one. This will be one, and this will be minus one. So we know what is the third eigen vector. So third eigen vector is x three. That is equal to one, one, one. See, there is no problem. Eigen value will be same. Eigen vector can be anything. See, if we divide this by two, we can get minus one, minus one, one. That is also right. We can write this as one, one, minus one, or we can write it as minus one, minus one, and one. See, one of the main thing in this is result. How do you present your result? So always, what you do, you just write the result. Make a box. And write the eigen value of the vectors. The eigen values of the vectors are. You can write it as two, two, eight, and we have to write and the corresponding eigen vectors. And the corresponding eigen vectors are. What was the eigen vectors? For this, it is zero one one, and one one minus one. For this one will be zero one one, and this one will be one one minus one. And for eight, we have found out in the previous video that was two minus one and one. So these are the eigen vectors two 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 and the corresponding eigen values that is zero one 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 
zero one one, and for the second two it is one one minus one, and for eight it is two minus one and one. See, matrix is the very important unit, and you can easily score good marks in matrix. So this is why most of the people get pass mark in mathematics. So please concentrate on this. So first we have to find the eigen value. If three eigen values are different, the sum is super cool. We can find out in the same way how we found out for eight. If it is having similar values and one is different, you start with the different value first. And for the same value, these are the steps. So you'll get only one equation. So with the help of one equation, you take assume something as zero and make other two in some proportionate and assume another value and then for finding the third eigen vector you take one equation from this and another equation from the eigen vector so we can all easily find this so most probably what they will do we if there are three different eigen values we can solve easily so what in the semester and all they will do is they will give this kind of problem so that what happens we can easily solve this but without understanding the concept, it is difficult to solve two by two. So this is one of the important questions. So just have a look. If you have any doubt, you can mention the doubt below. Okay. Make sure you just present your answer very neat and clean. You just write result. The uh, Eigen values matrix Eigen values are two two eight, and the corresponding Eigen vectors are. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1. So write the corresponding eigenvectors below the eigenvalues. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you.